So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock sets for the Parade set. Now, I am really excited because I do think some of these sets are absolutely amazing. Remember, the new format is we're going to have male and female sets for you guys. So that way you guys are aware how it looks for both genders. So I really appreciate that Bungie gave us that option because it does make this a lot better because I have been thinking about doing this for a while. It's just the fact that I did not want to essentially erase my character and then make them all up again to make this type of content because that would have taken me forever. Now that we have that option just to do it uh, super quick, I really appreciate it. But let me know what you guys think about these sets in the comments below. Remember that we already did the Hunter and the Titan videos. They're both right here. You guys can check them out. And then we've already reviewed and, the, the, and done the Shader video as well, with which they're both right here. So remember, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that's also something that people should be doing. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet. And for the exotic, we're going to be using the Controverse Hold with the Tyrion Gloves Ornament. For the chest piece, Celestial Robes. For the boots, Virtuous Boots. And then for the Bond, Elect of the Empty Bond. So this is interesting considering the first thing I should note is that Virtuous Boots is not available anymore. It was at some point. Now it's not. Um, easily, you could just switch something out that either has a glow or doesn't. It doesn't really matter considering the Celestial Robes and the Tyrion gloves is these two pieces that are going to be the most important pieces from this. The shader we're using is Grand Luster just because I wanted purple in there specifically. Well, specifically gold and purple because Tyrion gloves is gold and purple and white. And those three do, do not change. Oh, well, actually, I think the I think the gold and purple doesn't change color. I could be wrong about that, but I just wanted to lean into that because I didn't want to fight it. And I think the set came out really, really cool, especially the helmet and the chest piece. I think those two look really well together. Because my warlock almost looks like like a high elf almost, which is why I really like this set. And then Elect of the Empty Bond was just an easy choice because again, we're going for a void look, and that one was just such an easy dub. So starting off strong for the warlocks, let me know what, what y'all think about this one. As for the next set, we're gonna be using Falling Sunstar for the exotic, and for the obviously we're using the arms for the parade set. For this one, I decided to go for more of an electrical look because the arms give off like a padded look, almost like it's insulated. And that's literally why I went with the arc light robes because the arc light robes has the electrical current going through it. And I just imagined that the warlocks would have these gloves on if they wanted to not get electri electrified or some shit. I don't know. The psionic speaker speed, the, 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 the psionic speaker boots specifically because I like the texture on the boots specifically. It, it just looks insulated as well, which is why I'm going through all of this just to make it like, oh, maybe when the Warlocks uh, use their, their arc abilities, they're in water, they don't want to get electrified. That's valid considering we do get damaged in game because of that. So, or not because they use the electric, but they can get it electrocuted is what I'm trying to say. And then the bond is going to be the liminal Voyager bond, uh, specifically because of the color of the bond does not change color, which is the color of arc. So... I definitely like this set a lot. I would tell you that I don't think each of the genders look better than the other. I think both of them look cool in their own way. Male Warlocks, if you guys want to go for a bulky look, I think this is really cool. And then for the females, I think the slender look of it looks really cool, especially with Fallen Sunstar. I just like you look really, really feminine with this whole set, which is why I like it. But males, you guys look very bulky and very like just juggernaut ish kind of, if I'm being quite honest. So. I definitely like this one a lot for the shader cryptic insignia was an easy choice because the black with the little bit of white that there, you can't there there is some there like a little bit of white in here but it's mostly the blue and the black that i really like about this set and so the next set it's another electrical set because for me the boot or not boots the chest piece has those plugs that kind of just reminds me like of an electrical set which is why i just leaned into electrical so arc like hood with the painted kitsune gloves and then Geomag Stabilizers with the alternate conduction ornament is a combo that I've used in previous sets. I love it. It's one of my favorite combos to do just because everything looks electrical. And then Shadow Broker Bond for the plasma looking thing else. And then, yeah, for the shader, Ultra Plasmic is what I'm using specifically because the glow is blue and it's a very close blue to the electrical sets. So I love this set a lot. Uh, so much so that I would probably switch out the chest piece for the chest piece from before the arc light robes i think that would have been way better just because each of the pieces would have some electrical current going through it the arms have an electrical current 
the boots and then the chest piece would also have one that being said i would switch out the arc like hood because me personally i have a rule that i don't combine the same helmet and the same chest piece for a warlock just because it looks too close to just being one set which is why i have that rule in place so i would probably just switch out the helmet for something else something not super electrical but something that has a glow in there so that way it leans into maybe the electrical currents everywhere is being powered or is powering the suit somehow so i definitely like this set it's a remix of a set that i've made before but this does look really cool in my opinion let me know what you guys think and so the next set we're going to be using the Karate Grip and I actually like this set a lot. I think it looks super, super cool for the Helmet Shadow Broker hood. For the arms, we're going to be using the Karate Grip with the Navoile Filigree Ornament. The chest piece is going to be Blood Lineage Robes. Obviously the boots is the Parade Boots and then the bond is going to be the Technologic Bond. So I love this set because it looks so bougie and not bougie in like a, it, it ki I kind of look like a vampire meets butler type of thing because obviously the chess piece is vampire themed it's from halloween but the boots i think go really well with this it's it's almost like everything but the arms and the boots have like that like gold not gold but that orange platinum look and that's why i like it a lot because it looks like my warlock is something more of a butler but less than a vampire kind of thing and the only thing I would switch out from this would be the helmet. I think the helmet is the only piece where I'm like, I could switch this out. And I think this set would still be a banger. But I like the helmet for this one. That being said, I think this one would have to go. <sighs> In my gut, I want gut. I want to say though the females look a little bit better just because the helmet, the shadow broker hood is from Mass Effect. And if you guys don't, if you guys know anything, uh mass effect specifically asari are females um not male so in my head it makes more sense for the females to have the shadow broker hood that being said i don't think it matters that much i'm not like super like oh that it can only be a woman a woman that wears the helmet it doesn't matter too much to me i'm just saying like in my head it just makes more sense because i am a mass effect fan but i think that the warlocks if they have another helmet or even with this helmet, I look. I think it looks amazing as well, just because the shoulders are a little bit bigger and broader, which makes him just look a little bit better in my opinion. That being said, again, I think both of them look really, really good. And last but not least, we're going to be using the bond, which I love what I did with this. I am not going to even shy, like, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I think this is the best one in the, in the sets, like, honestly, just because of just how amazing this bond went with everything else. So for the exotic, we're going to be using Mantle of Battle Harmony with the Rosen Drone Ornament, which I absolutely love this ornament. For the helmet, a Pylos Following Hood. The arms are going to be Hawk's Fury Gloves, Boots, Aphotic Lemon Lar Boots, and then the Parade Bond. So specifically, Continuum Alloys, were, the reason we're using this is because it changes the Pylos Following Hood to a gold. You can still see remnants of that red, but it's only on the teeth and like somewhere around the eyes. This one's going to be funny because I think the females look way better than the males. I think the males look kind of boring compared to the females. The females just look a little bit more foreboding, a little bit more terrifying, if I'm being quite honest. That being said, I've explained this in a previous video. The reason why I like Rose and Drone, the ornament, is because it gives much more of an alien look. And I mean specifically alien as in Xenomorph. It gives off that vibe so well that I just kind of have to like lean into it so hard. And I think... Well, it's, I don't think I know the reason that I use this chess piece is because when I first saw the bond, it immediately reminded me of this ornament and I wanted to combine it as fast as I could. That being said, Hawk's Fury Gloves is probably the weakest portion from this set. I think the boots are pretty good, but Hawk's Fury Gloves is definitely something you can definitely change. That being said, Aphotic Lemolar is also uh, from an ornament that's not in the game anymore. So if you wanted to switch this out, I would just tell you do something that's a little bit more organic and hive pieces would look good it just make just make sure it doesn't look too rockish because then that's gonna clash a little so i would just tell you like something that's a little bit more organic like instead of sharp edges make it like smooth like that type of texture you're gonna want because then it's gonna look really good with the chest piece because the chest piece is the main thing that you're trying to combine everything around so warlocks let me know what you guys think i absolutely love some of the sets that i made for you guys i don't think there's any bad one in there if i'm being honest i think the titans are the only ones that got a bad look and maybe the hunter as well i think that one of them was just like not as good as the other ones 
the titans i definitely think one of them was just like a work in progress type of thing but warlocks like you guys i had a lot of fun making some of the sets for you guys like legitimately i was not bored at all i think the one that had the worst of it would be the boots the boots was pretty hard at first but then once i combined it with the blood lineage robes then that's where the fun came in because then i was like oh what am i gonna do with this uh the chest piece was also one that was pretty difficult and honestly i kind of copped out on that one because i was using pieces from an older set that i've made that being said i still think it looks amazing so let me know what you guys think about these sets let me know what you guys think about all of the sets if you guys have watched all the other videos um i do have some other content planned for you guys like i said in a previous video some of the new armor sets that eververse is selling i want to make a review and a shader video and then make the individual pieces as well for the classes so that way you guys are aware of just what you can do with those sets so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later